Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and with a new month means a new series here on my channel. And I'm really excited to be partnering with Global Social Business Partners this month, a nonprofit organization founded by a dear friend of mine, Narima, to help young rising women be more self-sufficient. I figured by sharing meals that are under $20 to make that serve a family of four, this will really help kind of broaden and see how easy it is to be self-sufficient. So I'm really excited to be a part of this initiative and to help in any way that I can. So this week I will be sharing a really easy turkey cheeseburger soup. I'll be showing you how to make it in an instant pot, but of course you do not need that. Just a few ingredients, really easy, and I really think everyone will love it. So if you love this initiative and you love easy meals, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So I first wanted to walk you through all the ingredients. So first things first is ground turkey, butter, onion, garlic, celery, some carrots. You can totally use regular carrots and not baby carrots. Flour, better than bouillon is what I'm using, but you can use chicken stock in a box. Some cauliflower, potatoes, and then cheese. The Ingredients that do not have a price, I hope that you already have on hand because it is very minimal. And then of course I have to use salt and pepper. So the total comes out to be $19.49 for six servings, which is about $3.25 per serving. So not bad at all, especially if you get six servings out of it. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of the prep process. I like to prep all of my ingredients, chop all of my veggies before I even get started so that I can do everything really, really quickly. So I like to have a little bowl for the discard that I can just toss in the compost after I am completely done prepping all of my ingredients. I also love to use my garlic press to make mincing garlic that much easier. Um, and then I'm just chopping up all the rest of my veggies, making sure that all of them are about the same size. And this just really helps with actually cooking the meal later on. I just dump all the ingredients and it just goes by so much quicker. So this is the baby carrots that I also just chopped up to the same size as the onion and the celery. And then I also just diced up my potatoes. I just left the skin on to make it that much easier. But if you are using a bigger potato, then I would peel it because the skin is a little bit harder on the bigger potatoes. But these cook up really really nicely and then ca cauliflower I just live left in big chunks like you can see so that later on I can scoop them out so first things first I put my instant pot on the saute mode and I added in my ground turkey super easy I just kind of use my spoon to break it up into smaller pieces and then let it cook for about five to six minutes and then I take my spoon that has slots in it so that I can just take the meat out and then drain all that fat on the bottom because I don't need that <laughs> and it makes it a little bit more healthier so adding a tiny tiny bit of butter to my saute pan it's still on saute uh, mode not pan sorry and then it just mix up all the veggies um, and let it saute for about five to six minutes very very quickly I just wanted to get a little bit soft before I add in my flour so I'm gonna add in my flour and cook the flour until I don't see that white white color anymore this just removes the raw flour taste but you get that creaminess later on from adding flour. So now I'm gonna add in my chicken stock. So here, because I'm using the better than bouillon instead, it's just water and then I put the paste in later. But if you're just using chicken stock, you just put that directly in. And then I just add in all the rest of my ingredients. So I put my ground turkey cooked again back into the pot along with some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add in my potato and my cauliflower and mix it all up again. And it's just really easy to use an Instant Pot, but you can also use a stove top and just adjust the cooking time to about 20 to 30 minutes on medium. 
And that's really it. I just kind of mix everything together, close the lid, and make sure that the top is on the ceiling because that is important. I have closed the top and forgotten to do that. And then it just sits there, <laughs> which is not good at all. So again, just close the top and just make sure it's in the ceiling position. And then once it's done, you just do a quick release and that's just opening the vent. Once the pin at the top is dropped, you open it up and just look at that. Everything is just so nice and cooked through. And at this point, you can really leave it, but I like to scoop out all the cauliflower, the big pieces of cauliflower and puree it so that this soup is extra creamy. And then you really don't taste the cauliflower. And I like that because <laughs> you can sneak in a ton more veggies like that. So very nutritious and the flavor is just out of the world. So I highly recommend that you just take the extra step to puree your cauliflower. And then I just add in my cheese. I'm using this blend because I had it on hand, but you can use cheddar. Cheddar would be a great addition because this is kind of like a cheeseburger uh, soup. So you would get a nicer orange color if you use it. Use the cheddar instead, but this is amazing too. So just use the whatever cheese you have on hand. And this is totally optional, but I like to add a little spice. You can use hot sauce, whatever hot sauce you have on hand. I use some smoked paprika. If you have that on hand and you want it to be a tiny, tiny bit more spicier, do add that. So that's it. I just serve it in a bowl. I like to garnish it with cilantro, maybe some red onions, but that's totally optional. So you'll find all of the directions to this in the description box. I always have all my recipes down in the description box, but I hope you enjoyed. All right, there you guys go. That is my very easy under $20 meal for four recipe of the week. I'm very, very excited again to be partnering with Global Social Business Partners. I'll have information about them and what they're all about in my description box below in case you wanna check them out. But again, these are just going to be recipes that are meant to really help young rising women be self-sufficient. So I just cannot emphasize that more. And I really do hope that it also just helps everyone in general see how easy it can be to feed a full family for not that much money so if you guys love easy recipes please comment like share and subscribe and as always live life tastefully balanced